adding fractions with denominator 10 and 100. We learned before how to add fractions that have the same denominator. So, for example, if we have 4 tenths plus 3 tenths, we just add the two numerators 3 plus 4, which is equal to 7. And we keep the denominator 10 the same. So the answer will be 7 tenths. And if we have 4 hundredths plus 33 hundredths, we add 4 plus 33 equals 37 and keep the 100 and our answer will be 37 hundredths. What if we need to add two fractions that don't have the same denominator, such as 4 tenths plus 33 hundredths? How can we do that? Well, we cannot simply add the numerators because our denominators are different here. But notice that there is an easy way to convert a fraction with denominator 10 to a fraction with denominator 100 by multiplying both numerator and denominator by 10, which means simply adding a zero to the right of both denominator and numerator. So, to add 4 tenths to 33 hundredths, we can first convert 4 tenths to 40 hundredths. So, we will have 2 fractions with equal denominator. We add 40 to 33 to get 73 and leave the denominator 100 unchanged and our answer will be 73 hundredths. In general, if we wanted to add fractions with denominator 10 and fractions with denominator 100, we first convert the fraction having denominator 10 to equivalent fractions with denominator 100. Then we add the fractions by adding the numerators and leaving the denominator 100 unchanged. In this lesson, you learned how to add two fractions with denominators 10 and 100.